city of Cambridge had experienced significant flooding in the airway section of the city. Uh, they Cambridge came to Kleinfeld to help solve the problem and asked to provide sewer separation in this portion of the city. What we did is provide separate sewers and storm drains because like most old cities, Cambridge is made up of mostly combined sewers and as part of the project we need to provide that separation. There are many approaches to solving this problem and some of those relate to uh, gray infrastructure where we put tanks in the ground, underground storage or other types of storage or treatment facilities. Uh, our solution was to provide the natural benefit of the wetland area that we're at today to show that the area can be replicated to what it once was as a, as a vast wetland and uh, in enhancing the area for both the wetland capabilities, the treatment capability, as well as the aesthetic nature of this area and make it uh, better used for the public. The wetland will act as a treatment facility so that it naturally provides treatment to the stormwater by filtering out the heavy solids, uh, providing treatment through the aquatic plants, and then providing detention time throughout the vast area of, of the wetland area. As a depository for uh, stormwater, and it gets filtered and it gets cleaned, and um, it goes back to the river in a much better state than it would if it were just an open channel. Once we got to construction, the significant challenge there was the, uh, the significant amount of tree clearing, land, uh, topsoil removal, and stockpiling that for later reuse to try to reuse as much as we could. Uh, but then when, once we started digging the ground, the groundwater control was the most significant issue that we faced. We worked throughout all seasons. Uh, winter became, it was a very uh, cold winter that year as well, and uh, it became difficult to work under those conditions. Some of the methods that we use to address those challenges is, first of all, just for the uh, tree removal. Uh, we, we cleared small areas at a time in order to uh, uh, prevent significant erosion as the work was proceeding. The soil piles that we made here, in order to protect those from possibly going into the river with storm conditions, we had to cover them. So you had to keep those, so you had to um, move soil, make piles and cover them daily so that they wouldn't wash and possibly potentially contaminate the river. One of the, the most significant challenges was also the utility relocations that needed to take place early in the construction. There were existing utilities that went across. There were overhead telecommunications and electric, and we had to bring them underground. As you can see, there's nothing overhead now. So prior to this, they were overhead, we had to bring them underground. The project was bid as a horizontal directional drill. However, because of the uh, continued development in this area, the city was not able to secure the easements that were needed in order to, for that type of construction to take place. So we came up with another approach of using a method called pilot tube auger boring that would be used to cross the, the wetland area without the need for additional permits and by taking as little area as possible and get the work done uh, within the, the time frame that was necessary. And that was probably one of the largest challenges because without that utility relocation, the rest of this project would not have happened within the time frame that it needed to happen. So one of the major features of the overall planning effort in this project was the integration with the DCR master plan for this area. Uh, and as part of that, it was integrated to be a, a, a public park where outdoor amphitheater would be used for educational purposes, a bike path for extending the commuter uh, uh, purposes, our, a pedestrian path or jogging path is also here. There are scenic, several scenic overlooks throughout the basin. Wildlife and the ecology aspects of the site has benefited because we've, I believe, enhanced everything. Uh, we've, we've been able to uh, bring back the wildlife that were out here. We see hawks, eagles, uh, the geese. Uh, if you look out in the wetland into the river, fish, fish are coming up from the river in, in swimming in, in the wetland area. Uh, there's deer here, there's turtles, there's all these different bird species that people will get to see as opposed to the, the wildlife being in the woods. So there's that wildlife that, that now has been introduced to the public that wasn't here before. Other communities that have similar CSO related problems may want to consider similar passive green infrastructure and stormwater management approaches such as what we did in here in Cambridge because of the, uh, the cost savings associated with it as well as the environmental, aesthetic and 
passive recreational value that such systems uh, enable the community.